Blues Brothers is just one of those films, but it's, uh, I must be so special to have that on your resume. I know it wasn't commercially probably the most successful film, but it... It was very successful, thank God. Um, and you know, the most interesting thing about the Blues Brothers now is because it was 1979, mm -hmm. came out in 80, Rhythm and Blues was considered dead and... It was disco, right? Well, it was all disco. It was all mm -hmm. BB, the ABBA and the Bee Gees. And what was fascinating was even MCA Records, even Universal Studios' own record company, refused the album. <laughs> they said, no one will buy this. So we made a deal with Atlantic Records, the so-called race label. And what was interesting about that is the great Ahmed Erdogan, he refused to put John Lee Hooker on the album. <laughs> And I said, why? And we had a big fight. And he said, John candidly, he's too old and too black. <laughs> and so when, when John had a platinum album three yeah. years later, I called Ahmed and he went, I know, go ahead, tell me, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a lot of that aspect. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your time in Melbourne. And thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.